On the factory floor of Renault Nissan's Oragadam plant just outside Chennai, things are just getting warmed up for busier days ahead. CEO Carlos Ghosn had earmarked this plant as crucial to rolling out cars not just for India but also for other high growth markets right from the word go. Being the alliance's first global plant, two assembly lines were designed to work on four different platforms which spawn various models. The new Datsun Go will join the Micra and Pulse on one line, while the other new launch, the Ashok Leland style, is to share the line with the Ivalia, the Duster, the Sunny and the Scala. Now we're standing here in one of the two lines here at the Chennai facility of Renault Nissan. Uh, which produces the Sunny, the Scala, as well as the Duster. Interestingly, the Datsun Go, which everybody's been waiting for, will be produced out of the second line at this facility and will also be crucial in pushing up the volumes for the JV itself. Now, the peak capacity of this plant is 400,000 units and the company claims they expect to reach that figure by 2016. Also, the company has announced that it has invested about $2.5 billion in this facility and plan to double that in the next five years, especially in expansion of this facility. A large part of this investment will be used for developing the ultra-low-cost car as well as a new A platform on the Alliance's new common module family. Renault-Nissan will go solo on the low-cost car project and will have no part of the RE60 quadricycle developed by Bajaj. You take in each segment of the market, you take the lowest price you can find on this market. And then we look at the price and we look at the car. Our intention is to come with a much better car, modern, not a 25 years amortized platform with a 20 years pushed kind of product with, no, totally modern, totally new. We think that the ultra low cost car, very affordable car, it's a great idea, not only for India, but for all the high growth, the high growth market. With Bajaj, we tried to put together an ultra low cost car. Bajaj is coming, as you know, with a quadricycle, which is great for them. Uh, at the same time, we, we are not advancing too fast into bringing a car. The CMFA program developed by the Alliance's engineering facility in Chennai is a unique modular system of vehicle architecture. This defines vehicles as five essential modules, including the engine bay, the cockpit, the front underbody, the rear underbody, and electrical architecture. This can be assembled into any number of suited configurations for maximum efficiency and brand differentiation and will spawn multiple new compact models for all three brands. The CMFA platform is flexible to any body style and powertrain variation. This gives the brands a potential advantage to garner market share. So right now, you know, we are really laying the foundation of new products that will take us where we are not right now, which is below the 4 lakhs. Uh, because, because the game in India, half, half of the market is still below the 4 lakhs. We'll go there. The future will tell us, you know, with which kind of product at what moment, you know, and uh, size, wise, price, and so on. Not too far from this plant is another crucial component of this Renault-Nissan alliance, which is the R&D center that the company has set up here in Chennai. It has played a crucial role in not just adapting European and Japanese cars for Indian conditions, also with the Datsun Go. The engineers have really worked over time to ensure that the development life cycle, which spans between 18 months to three years for a car, has been cut down by nearly 25%. With the Datsun Go rolling out by 2014, followed by two other models, there is also talk of a greenfield plant for the brand to ensure optimum capacity. The next two models from Datsun will be built on the CMFA platform and could be a big volume driver for the company. Targeting a 15% market share very soon in the Indian market, the Renault-Nissan alliance is not taking its foot off the pedal in India, despite the current slowdown in Motown.